Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. And this is Gizmo. We're the Village's newcomers. We're so happy to be here on Streaming the Magic. We are bloggers, vloggers, <laughs> whatever you'd like to call us. And uh, we live in the Villages, which is a town. You probably think it's a tiny town because it's called the Villages. Right. It's actually pretty big. It's 140,000 people and growing every day. It is. It's booming. Now, that sounds like a big city. But within the villages are over 100 smaller areas, and each one of those is called a village. We live in the village of Dunedin. Right. And so we still have that small town feel, but we're in a bigger city. And we love it here. We're about one hour north of Orlando, right. about 45 minutes south of Ocala. Um, and this used to be all orange groves and uh, farms here. And this town was started in the 1980s by a man named Harold Schwartz. We moved here in 2018, right at the end of 2018. And uh, we have been here almost four years. Hard to believe. It's, it's coming up quick. I can't believe it. In December, it'll be four years. Wow. Loved that show from Epcot. Of the Disney parks, I think Epcot's our favorite. We do. We love Epcot. It's laid back. It doesn't have a ton of kids, but yeah, you can get around easy. And we, we really enjoy Epcot, the different countries. That's that's always so much fun. Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing any comments. Let's, uh, let's see if we can. We are new to this big time. So we're looking for comments. There they are. Way down there. Can you see those, Linda? Yes. Okay, you're going to be in, Linda's going to be in charge of the questions and, uh, actually, no, <laughs> and the answers. So don't move that too far. I can't see those, it's too far away. Well, then we'll look for them on you. Look for them on your phone. You should be able to have this pop up there. Let me tell you, oh, here we go. We went to Disney on our honeymoon. We lived in Indiana. Mm -hmm. We had a 1976 Malibu Classic. I loved that car. <laughs> that was, was a big car. <laughs> it was a beauty. That was so smooth, and I was proud of it. It was red with a white vinyl top, and we drove that to Florida. Uh, we had a relative that lived in the, actually lived in Dunedin, over near Tampa and uh, Clearwater area, right. and we stayed there, and we kind of made the rounds, but we, we came down to go to Disney, and that's what we did. Yes, and I want to say hi to Julia way over in the UK. We love that you're watching this from oh. over there. <laughs> See, we and we are we're like squirrels. We get off topic in a hurry, but UK, we love it. Uh -huh. We spent two weeks there a couple of years ago. Yes, and had a ball. We did it all. We went to mm -hmm. the Royal Albert Theater. We went to Kew Gardens. We went to Hyde Park and watched the speakers. We went to Stonehenge, and uh, anyway, we love UK. But let's get back to Disney, because on our honeymoon, we're young. We're both 22, fresh out of college. We had a wonderful time, and the first night we were there, we had taken so many pictures, and we stood in front of every cool thing. Yeah. And they were going to have the light parade. We love the light parade. Mm -hmm. So we were running to get a good seat, and the camera fell out of my pocket. Oh, yeah. Hit the, hit the ground, scooted, plunk, right into a drainage hole a lost, big drain lost our honeymoon gone pictures. <laughs> i couldn't see it i couldn't look down i was so disappointed we went to guest services and they sent a crew out there to lift that grate up and look for our camera and it was so nice they did they did they, dug but they didn't find, they didn't find it nope but about a month later in the mail back in indiana we got a new camera from disney how nice was that that was so nice i couldn't believe it we got a camera but no pictures but anyway <laughs> well yeah back then the little cameras were cheap but you know you put your film in and then you eh, 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 you know you squeeze it over but we got one what held a nice gesture for them to it send it was that. wonderful we really uh, love disney they yeah. were great to us um we also want to say hello to sharon in fort wayne area indiana Fort Wayne. We had a lot of friends from Fort Wayne when we went to Ball State. Ball State's just south of Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. it bring the picture down. And so also there is uh, Chuck's coming October 1st for Lifestyle. So welcome, Chuck. What else we got? Okay. It's not scrolling. By the way, she said she wanted to go on an Amphibicar ride uh, on their date night. Oh, yeah. 
I love those cars. They're the cars that can drive on land and you can drive right under the water mm -hmm. and zoom all around the water. And they look like little, I don't know, ramblers yeah, or something right, like that. Right. They're beautiful. They're all restored. Those would be very expensive cars, but what a fun date. It's going to be a little expensive though, I think. And Janet's coming from Painesville, Ohio. Hello, Janet. We also went to Bush Gardens on our honeymoon. I have a Bush Garden story too. Okay. Her, her uncle was such a great man. We loved that guy. And he loaned us his van. They went out of town and left us their house, their pool, their van, said, have a ball. What a great guy. Yes. So I took his van <laughs> and we went to Bush Gardens. And it's one of those big old honking vans. You know, mm -hmm. those big ones oh, they used to have that right looked like way. the kind that would deliver your laundry or something? Like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, it was really a nice <laughs> van. And I backed it right into one of the tram supports. Yep. Right when we got there. What a sickening feeling. Yeah, that a was A borrowed so cool. van. Mm -hmm. He was a champ about it, just like he was about everything. Yeah. yeah. And he said, ah, I don't worry don't about worry it. Don't worry about it. No, what a guy. Yeah. But Bush Gardens is, I, you know, I really think I prefer Bush Gardens because of the animals. Yes. We have yeah. an animal right here. I don't know if yeah, you can see him. Can he, you see him right there? He's pressing on Jerry's arm. Yeah, this is the uh, sleeping doxy. Well, Gizmo. we have a couple more people to talk to. There's Pat Davis from Virginia and uh, Sandy Mary from Pennsylvania. She says something about your mother's handwriting. She writes like your mom used to write. I don't know if you remember that or not. Um, and then Susan from St. Augustine. I want to get up to St. Oh, Augustine. Our friend Mike Colsa from Minnesota. Hi, Mike. <laughs> See, Mike is uh, our right-hand man. Mm -hmm. But... He's a slacker. But he left us. He's a slacker. He goes to <laughs> Minnesota for half a year and leaves us on our own. <laughs> so when I need that extra camera guy or whatever, <laughs> yeah. I have to call in mm -hmm. the B team. <laughs> but anyway, Mike, nice to hear from you. <laughs> All right. And here is Laurie, and she's from uh, Massachusetts. She wanted to know if, uh, no, let's no, see, Julia wanted to know if we'd ever done a Disney cruise. And no, we have no, not. We haven't. We have not done a Disney cruise. Um, we've done two cruises in our life. One to Canada. That was a cold one. And it was a Royal Caribbean cruise. And then we just recently did one. Uh, and where do we go? We went to Nassau. Yes. and Coco Cay. Coco Cay. And that was wonderful. We're going on another cruise, though. We're going to one on uh, February. Um, I hope we're not too loud. Yesterday, we did a test. And I was blowing people out. And I got so much hate mail. This is from Streaming the Magic. Not really, not really. They want to know how long, uh, okay, first off, uh, what are the rules for family under the age limit staying at your home? How long can they stay and can they use the recreation areas? And this is from Streaming the Magic. Hey, don't ask us any hard questions. <laughs> That's not too hard. No, it's not too hard. No. That is the big one we get. Mm -hmm. We take questions, by the way. And, and if you want to follow us on YouTube, let me show you this on YouTube, you just type in Jerry and Linda and you'll find us. And you can get our email address and send us questions. We answer them every Monday on a show called Mailbag Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can have grandchildren visit. You can have friends visit. You can have acquaintances visit. Mm -hmm. 30 days a year is supposed to be the limit. They don't really have guest police that come around and knock on your doors and uh, ask how long people have been here, but it's 30 days. You must have a pass to use the amenities. You can explain that. Yes, you have to go to the rec center, the regional rec centers, and get a pass for the your guests that are, for anybody that's gonna stay in your home and use the, the swimming pool or uh, the bocce courts or anything like that. So, um, and then I think the grandchildren, if you have grandchildren living in the, or coming to visit you in the villages, they can come as many times as they want. It's if someone's living in your home or coming to visit, they cannot stay longer than a month. Then they'd have to re up and to and get, get access to yes, the to the and, and you we learned recently that you can have four names on your deed. So for instance, if you if you have four people that live in your house, they can all have a, an amenity pass. Yeah. And renters, uh, renting is a hot topic here. In fact, it's controversial. But if you rent your home out, you can let the renter buy a pass mm -hmm. from the villages that will en enable them to use the facilities, the golf courses, etc. Right. And golf is free here if you play the executive courses. 
those are the nine hole courses that are usually all par threes. Maybe they'll have one par four or two. I love the executive courses. I they're made. They're done really. They're nice. made for me. <laughs> the short short holes. What else we got? Well, this is from uh, Sharon. Sharon and Mike have just uh, closed on their second home in the villages. This one in Deluna, and they hope to go on our cruise. The next cruise we have. That's right, and we've met them a couple of times, and they are so nice. Yes. Nice folks. We we're not cruisers, like I told you, but we were asked, why don't you host a cruise? So we did. We hosted one in July. And we got more people going than we had ever thought possible. No, we were shocked. <laughs> because we don't sing and dance. We can't have a, a nightclub show for no these show two for guys. Us. So, so it, basically, if you go on a cruise with us, we're going to have a cocktail hour. We're going to have maybe yeah. film a show or two. Just a meet and greet. We're going to do a lot of back slapping and handshaking and that yeah. kind of stuff. And here is also Jackie. Um, she watches us. And here's one. She's from Charleston, South Carolina. We know that area. We do. <laughs> Our youngest son is a pilot in the Air Force, and he is stationed in Charleston. Yeah. yeah. We, what's that rest? Boxcar Betty. Oh, don't you yeah. love that restaurant? Boxcar Betty. Great place. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's Tim from New York. Hello, Tim. Glad you're watching. You know, we love New York, and, and I love to go to New York City. I've heard some bad reports recently about uh, crime up there, but we've always had a good experience. I remember the first time I went, a buddy of mine said, don't look the people in the eye. He said, just just mind your own it's business. It's like rabid dogs or something. But we got up there. I mean, we got lost right and left. We asked for directions. Everybody was kind as could be. That's so we a, had a great, so I love Times Square. Yes. Uh, someday I want to go to a Yankees game. Yeah. Even though I don't like the Yankees. Oh, well, you, you just know. like baseball in general. I like baseball. And Lori from the Villages. Is she from the Villages? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hi, Lori. She's always watching us, though. I know Lori. Uh, she's got a cute little Mickey Mouse avatar thing. Um, that was Jackie, though, and she went on her last cruise up uh, there a minute ago. Hi, Jack Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Brian from Seminole, Florida. By the way, uh, the villages. The story is that if you, well, if you come here, you're going to be astounded. If you've never been here, when you pull into Brownwood, mm -hmm. You're going to come down Main Street. It's actually called West Torch Lake Drive. And you're going to be blown away by all the golf carts parked on the street. That's how people get around here. We drive these golf carts. But the story is that Brownwood and Lake Sumter and Spanish Springs were influenced by Disney designs. And you'll see that when you come here. Mm -hmm. When you drive over this vast complex of roads, you're gonna, the one thing that's gonna stick out in your mind is the manicured landscaping, right. the beautiful plants, the lovely flowers everywhere. It's very reminiscent of what you're gonna see there at Epcot today and all through the Disney Kingdom. That's right. Um, someone asked about our cruise. Do they have to live in the villages to go on our cruises? And that is a no. We get, we've get we got had people on our last cruise from Texas, from uh, up north, uh, and I forget where else. They've been all over. I always hate to mention names because <laughs> you forget people. But but one couple that comes to mind were Joanne and Bill from Texas. And oh, we sure. had We probably had five Texas couples on that cruise. Yeah. They're just such nice people. Yeah, and I, I mean, if you think... Some people think Linda has an accent. Uh, you should talk to Joanne. <laughs> That's true. I love to hear her talk. Well, here's another question. How late are the pools, rec areas, open? And is there no closing time? There is no closing time. It's just dusk. Yes. Whenever it gets dark, they will send uh, an employee around mm -hmm. to lock all the doors. Yeah, they'll lock the gates. So there are no lights going. around the pools. No. So they're going to get dark when it gets yeah. dark. Yeah. And that's when the bugs come Well, out. the pools are right behind people's homes, too, and they don't want them up, uh, people out in the pool screaming and hollering party until 11, 12, or whatever late. So anyway, no, there's not lights, and there's uh, they just lock it up around 8.30 or 9. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm going to have a bruise there. Um, so anyway, uh, the pools are lovely. Uh, we try to get, take advantage of those as much as we can. Um, have, here's a question from Chuck. Other than sawgrass, have you heard if they plan another square down south of the turnpike? I don't know. My my hunch, and by the way, we tell our viewers all the time, you're sitting at home, if you watch our show, you know, we tell everybody, we don't know what we're talking about most of the time. <laughs> we just do the best we can. Right. We've heard no more squares. Now, that may or may not be true, but a, a square is a basic design. Yes. Where you drive around the middle where mm -hmm. people gather. 
there are going to be other facilities like that, but not necessarily in the shape of a square. Yeah, they'll, they'll have some kind of entertainment area. Yeah. Uh, we also had Kate from New Jersey, and we there's our friend Greg from Connecticut. Greg, yeah. Greg is another one of our, our big-time helpers. Yeah. And uh, you've seen him on a couple of shows. Remember that beautiful home that he built, and we went step-by-step step from dozing the land, pouring the concrete, all the way to when he hung his Picasso on the wall. Um, this question is, is Disney a do Disney World a doable tri day trip from the villages? Oh, my goodness, yes. Yes, absolutely. One hour you can be there to pay your 20-some-buck yeah. parking fee and uh, get on the tram and go in there and mm -hmm. uh, go on two rides. Yeah, <laughs> go on two rides. <laughs> it's hard for old people in Disney. <laughs> I love it. I mean, we love it. We love to be there. We love to do it. But it's harder and harder, especially with these new lightning passes. Yeah. And uh, I saw the article the other day. Did you guys see it where somebody went to Universal Studios, a family of four, and it cost them $1,100 for a one day? Yikes. Did anybody read that? That's a little steep. Are there any coupons out there? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is from... Now, we know we can get the Florida Pass. We know that. And we're, oh, yeah. we're toying with the idea because yeah. we do like the Disney... Yeah. Whole, the whole idea. A lot. And, and um, Mushki uh, says, Mushki Davy, is that how you say it? Eastport is the next town square, and we knew that name. It just didn't come to us right away, but Eastport. There's going to be Middleton, mm -hmm. and there's going to be Eastport. Right. But the question was, are you going to have a town square? I'm not sure there's going to be a square there, but there might be, because like I said, we don't know. <laughs> Let's see. No more questions right now. Here we go. Hey. Virginia, did you find us? Remember to find us on Facebook. All you got to do is type in Jerry and Linda, or you can type in the Village's Newcomers, and you can find us on Facebook, and we appreciate that. Because yesterday, we hit 10,000 uh, followers on Facebook. And we're almost to 50,000 followers on YouTube, and we encourage you to go to YouTube, look up Jerry and Linda, and uh, yeah. hit that follow button or subscribe button and uh, join us. And Join De the party. Debbie says hi to Gizmo. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> Gizmo has I gotten... I like that sound. He's getting too big for his britches. <laughs> De Everybody loves Debbie's Gizmo. from Gordon, back in Indiana. She's our friend. I, I, we, I chatted with her yesterday. Yeah, you remember that? Yes. And she told me that Emery's Ice Cream is closed in Corridon. No. It's no longer open. Oh, we love that place. We liked it when it was in New Albany, Indiana, mm -hmm. where we, we were born and raised. And we liked it when uh, it was in Corridon, too. Why are your roads numbers then same number? I don't understand like that four, one. Four, 466 A, 466. Maybe they were talking about that and with a letter oh, A. Oh, an A after, after it. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are two 466s. One is newer than the other one, and it has the A on it. I don't know why they didn't just go 468. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe 468 either. was taken. Okay. And Julie is going to join us on our YouTube now. Well, awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, Fred asked, do we have a Halloween or a Christmas parade? Oh, my gosh. Yes. In fact, the paper today had a big article on Christmas, and they have a big thing on dogs in the squares. They dress up all the dogs and have a big parade. And Gizmos, I have looked every year, and they've the, the dogs are all dressed up to, oh, unbelievably. And I think Gizmo wants a costume this year, Jerry. Well, we'll have to get him one. <laughs> but Fred there are parades for everything, everything. St. Patrick's Day yes. Thanksgiving yes Christmas Easter there's always uh, something you know unfortunately mm -hmm. there's some political parades and yeah. you know you got parades of all kinds and if you don't find one you like you can start your own parade <laughs> that's you true. just call up your buddies and let's, that's a beautiful thing about the villages yes go ahead back in Indiana if let's say that we wanted to go listen to some music with friends no we're busy no we're babysitting no, we've got something else to do. Yeah. Hard, hard. Here, you call. We can get 10 people like that yeah. to go listen to music in the village. Right. Or, hey, meet us at the pool. You That's know, great. It's fun. That's one of the beauties of living here. Here's a good question. Are the home prices crazy like everywhere else, or is it more reasonable in the villages? No, they're crazier they're in crazy. the villages. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely crazy. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, homes like ours with a pool are over a million dollars. Mm-hmm. I never thought I'd live in a home that costs three hundred thousand no. dollars, much less, no. you know. So the home prices are high because of the amenities and the, and the, 
you know, just the whole situation here is yeah. is nice, yeah. and people want to be here and live here, and that's why they're willing to pay a little bit extra. Well, they're not all million dollar homes. There no. are quite a few, and uh, you can get them in three hundred and uh, four hundred thousand, and yeah. you can get some lower than three three hundred. The three hundred thousand dollar homes are few and far between. Uh, they are here. The older the home uh, and the older the area, the more likely you are to find a home of that price. The newer homes are bringing a lot more than that. But if you look hard, you know, you never know. You can find something. Is there a way to get to Lowe's? This is from Linda. Yay, Linda. Is there a way to get to the Lowe's in your golf cart? And she's from Ohio. Well, the, the short answer to that is no. But I did it one time because I parked across 466A and ran over to Lowe's. You can get up to the main road, but you can't cross it. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah. uh, that's a no. Oh, Alan said he must be living in the villages because he said he would never get a golf cart, but he did, and now he loves it. Told you well, so. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's Alan Camp. Yes. He's the big radio announcer. He just retired from his talk show of over 30 years. Hi, Alan. Hi, and I Alan. I hope you're enjoying your new retirement. Yeah. Golf carts are so fun. That's the biggest thing about the villages, the golf cart lifestyle. It's too fun. Oscar says his granddaughter watches with him. We love that. We love when younger people, when Oscar, when you can kind of get them funneled into us. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And she loves Gizmo. She's in the club. And here's a question. How are the bugs and mosquitoes? This is from Streaming the Ma Magic. To be honest with you, we had more bugs in Indiana we than we have here. Mm -hmm. At night, and just two nights ago, yeah. The mosquito truck came down our street, yes. and it, it puts out a, a fog of deadly chemicals. <laughs> we called, and they are not deadly to humans no. <laughs> or animals, just no, the they, bugs. Yeah, just to the bugs, yes. and, uh, and that comes regularly, uh, and we don't have... Now, if we sit out in our driveway after dark, there's we'll hear them buzz in our ears. I yes. don't know that we've ever really gotten a bunch of bites or anything, but they're here. About 7 or 8 o'clock, it's time to go in. <laughs> we live within 100 yards of a, what they call it a preserve, mm -hmm. swamp, and it's nice uh, to hear the crickets and all that out there, but there are mosquitoes. Yeah. They don't bother us much. Chuck, thank you on the uh, compliment on the microphone. We've, we've been trying all kinds of things, so... It's working. We're glad. Thank you. I hope it's working. Yeah. <laughs> Late yesterday, I was getting so excited. And I was leaning in going, yeah. And then people were going, oh, my God, you're blowing out our eardrums. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah. But I don't like this, though. Can you see that big thing sticking up there? That's a. This mm -hmm. is called a Blue Yeti. Yeah. For those of you that wonder what kind of microphone it is, I've had it forever. It's a USB plug. It goes right in. Right. So hopefully it's working uh, with a better quality of sound than we had yesterday. Here's a good question from Donna. She asked, do they have property to rent instead of buy? How much would the rent be? We had friends that rented here three years ago. But the prop the villages don't rent out. Well, I assume she means in the villages. Yeah, but you can find people that will rent out their homes and go to different websites about the villages' rentals. But I think she wanted to know how much would it cost. Mm-hmm. It depends on the time of year. You might get something for two thousand in the heat of summer, mm -hmm. and you might pay six thousand in the yeah. best of times, which are coming up here shortly. Yes. Oh, uh, Elizabeth asked, "What's our favorite restaurant in the villages?" Elizabeth, that is a great question. I've had it three times this week. <laughs> I'll tell you the ones we like. We don't have a favorite. My favorite would probably—I don't want to tell you my favorite because I don't want to stand outside waiting for a table. <laughs> Yeah, we have to wait in line. <laughs> but I'll tell you a list of my favorites, and I'll include it in there. We like Prima. We like Lopez Legacy, mm -hmm. the prime rib up there. Yeah, very good. We like Oakwood Smokehouse. Mm -hmm. We like Bluefin. That's a seafood restaurant in Brownwood. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, what else do we like? Oh, I, I mean, I love Texas Roadhouse. Have you had those rolls? <laughs> People are getting away from rolls. Well, I'm Except not. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not getting away from the rolls. I am all for it. We like Napolino's, and it's not really in the villages, though. That is a great little restaurant. It's out on 301. Mm -hmm. It's Italian. I love Napolino's. We've tried red sauce, and it's delicious, too. Red sauce mm -hmm. is good. Uh, and the Angler's Club is a private restaurant. We've been fortunate enough to eat there a few times. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. This is from William. Uh, will there ever be a population cap on how many people can live in the villages? Will the villages keep, just keep expanding? 
William, think about it. If they they own the the villages, they're they're buying new land all the time, building new homes. As long as people buy those homes, they're going to keep building them. Yeah. And right now, these they actually have lotteries when when new areas yes. open up because so yes. many people want to buy them. Well, I just kind of hope we can connect to Disney World so we can take a monorail there. Well, you take your golf cart. <laughs> Yeah, that's able. making about four hours. That's, that's the joke. <laughs> Someday we'll be able to drive our golf cart to Disney. I think a monorail would be perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Are you? This is from Lori. Our friend Lori, she watches us all the time. Are you able to park your car in your driveway for an extended amount of time, or is that frowned upon the villages? Lori, why do you ask? <laughs> do you want to park your car in the driveway? <laughs> The answer is yes, you, you, can, can, you can park your car. But why? When we <laughs> moved here, we had just spent more for a house than we ever. And we we thought it was beautiful. We liked our house. We liked our yard. We love our trees. And then your neighbor parks a couple of cars in his driveway and you come down the street, you can't even see your yard. Yes. That's not nice. But you know what, what? What I think when I see the cars in people's driveway is that they've got the yard, the garage full of stuff. Absolutely. Stuff, stuff, stuff that they probably don't need. And you need to downsize if you're going to come here. Downsize, make your life much more simpler. If I was advising people that are coming to the villages, get the two and a half car garage. Park your car and two golf carts or two cars and one golf cart or a car, a golf cart, and your boat, but don't park them outside. Okay, Donna asked this. She's talking about the rental, but you know what? She's kind of clarified her question. She said, I was actually referring to moving there and renting. What so, does that mean? So moving there and renting out your house? Not, if you move here, you, you don't want to rent out. So, so, Donna, I'm still not sure about your yeah, question. Yeah, Donna, bad question, Donna. Come on. <laughs> you can do better. Sorry, Donna. I was actually referring to moving there and renting. Okay. Okay, if she came here and rented, you could park your car in your driveway in the driveway. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that, that doesn't go with that question. That's a different question. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. We'll have to we'll have to write you. Email us. <laughs> what else can we talk about the villages? Well, I was just gonna say that that getting back to the Disney thing, and I didn't want to sound like we don't like Disney because we love Disney. Mm -hmm. But we're older, we don't walk around as much. And when you get in there, you're standing in line. You want to go see Ratatouille, get in the back <laughs> of the line, or pay the extra to to bump up. Either one's a difficult choice. Yeah. And at age 66, we went there recently, and we went two days, didn't we? Yeah. And, and I think we just went one day. No, we went two days. Okay. And the first day, we only got to ride a couple of rides. Oh, you're right, you're right. And then the second day... We were a little bit better because you had to we, do everything on your phone. We learned, as you learned, the, and like streaming the magic can probably give you all kinds of tips yes. on how to make the most out of your day. And maybe they'll even take us to Disney sometime <laughs> yeah. and show us all Let's the tricks. Team up. Yeah. <laughs> she asked a question, though. She goes, um, uh, are all dog breeds allowed here in the villages? Good question. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about, could you have a Doberman or a Pit Bull? Yes, you can have any kind of dog breed. And they have dog parks here. They have a they have six or seven, probably seven. And the dog parks are divided into two sections. Yes. One for dogs under 30 pounds and one for over 30 pounds. Right. And your bigger dogs hopefully will go over there. And, um, <laughs> but we've heard, we have heard some, some dog fights, you know, and yeah. some aggressive dogs in the dog parks. Yeah. And some people that got bitten breaking up. Uh, but it's not common. No. But it can no, happen. No, no. It's a great place. Uh, Gizmo and I went a lot at the very beginning. We moved here. And, and we went a lot. But, he, you know, he wasn't real social. He wanted to just go around the edges and smell. And he didn't really play with the other dogs. So I just thought, well, okay, we, we'll stay in our neighborhood. <laughs> but we may go back to the dog park. We took him for his rabies shot and a checkup here a while back. And the, a guy had a pit bull. Oh, yeah. And he brought that pit bull in. And he couldn't control it. That dog was at the end of a long leash, and it was jumping on people. It was jumping on people's pet mm -hmm. carriers. But it was just trying to love on everybody. It was a good dog. Good dog, but a bad owner. He gave that dog way too much leash. He hadn't trained it properly. So I'm not blaming the pit bull. I'm blaming that owner. Yes, I am too. This is from Rebecca. Long, long ago, people in the villages worked in Disney, and I believe they all rode together somehow. Do you still have Disney workers? I know there are Disney workers yeah. that live here. They just drive their own car down. Right. It's almost cost prohibitive because it's a, a round trip's about $11.65 yes. last yes. I heard. 
and then you've got you know 120 mile round trip so six gallons of gas you know you're talking about over 30 dollars yeah. per trip and i'm sure they don't pay a part-time retired worker a whole lot yes um okay um Disney hundred years. Oh, he says that the Franklin Institute is probably going to print a commemorative coin for Disney of, of their anniversary. I don't know. Hmm. Christine wants to know where is the village is. As we said earlier, it's about an hour northwest of uh, Orlando mm -hmm. and about 35 or 40 minutes south of Ocala. It's pretty much center of the state, which is really nice. You can go to the beach this way or that way, uh, two hours from either coast. So that's pretty nice. We're pretty central. Mushki Davy commented on the rentals, and there are lots of companies that will handle rentals, mm -hmm. and you can yeah. look at them, uh, you know, as far as checking to see if you can find one you can afford in an area that you like. So, just look it up on Google. Hey, when, at Epcot, let's talk about Epcot for a minute. You know, one thing, my favorite thing about Epcot was the Beatles in the old days. Oh, that's true. We'd go to. Uh, England and yes. they would have they have a little grandstand there a little uh, what do you call it you know yeah little thing in the middle of the yeah. Beatles would be up there playing yes and these guys were great and they looked good and they sounded good they were great are they still there I don't think they are think are they, they are. if they are I'm going back and here's a good question from streaming the magic's gonna ask us some questions what's something you didn't know before moving that you wish you knew ahead we we read there weren't many blogs and very few YouTube videos to watch other than the one the villages that which they put out which is a great channel to watch too. Well, I know, yeah. but when it's your only source of information, right. you kind of think you're moving to heaven. You, you know, when you're watching. I it. think I so. We that. didn't have a lot, but the one thing I wish I'd known was we we preached when we first got here downsize, downsize, yeah. downsize, and we did. And then we got here and realized I had sold or given away a lot of things I could still use. Mm. If, if it's small, decide on it after you get here. Don't give everything away. Don't sell everything pennies on the dollar. Come down here. There's a next door app that you can get and you can give things away. You can find things that you didn't bring that yeah. you want. Yeah. You know, we, get, we got here and for some reason the gas tank on our grill didn't make it. Yeah. I got out there one day to make some steaks and I turned it on, nothing, pop, nothing, pop, nothing. Looked underneath, my gas tank's gone. Mm -hmm. I got on next door and said, hey, does anybody have a gas tank they'd sell? Within five minutes, I got a response. I've got one not far from here. I went over there. I said, how much? They said, take it. It's just taking up space. It's lovely. So, yeah, the that's next, the way it is. The next door app is a great thing to have wherever you are because people around you are willing to uh, practically give away things and, or show you places to go, what to do, and uh, services that you need. Baby so, stuff. Yes. Okay. Oh, we no, also, talking about the baby stuff. We also had a grandchildren that we we have here every once in a while. We needed um, high chairs or a pack and play or a stroller or whatever, a car seat. And there uh, we called and we were able to get. Uh, I think that that time we did a. a high chair right away in great condition they have it cleaned up beautifully and for a small small price so anyway it's, it's a great thing to the next door here's a good question from our friend mike pool or no pool he's always asking that question because he has a pool we love his pool he's got a beautiful house <laughs> he has a beautiful home although we've never been invited to swim in it ah uh, we have well we our grandkids went there and we swam with them i'm Hi. just kidding mike <laughs> um pool or no pool um, if you have a big yard, you can always get a pool. But there's so many pools here that you can take advantage of. There are over 106 pools, right? I don't yep. Know, like that. So, I mean, there are pools everywhere. And, however, you can't go past 8 o'clock. If you had your own pool, you can swim at 2 o'clock. Dust. Yeah. You can swim in your own pool, and it has the bird cage over it, so you're not going to be bothered by mosquitoes or bugs. And you can swim late really late if you want to or very very early so a pool of your own is lovely and it's a luxury and there are many people here that have their own pools we were on the fence mm -hmm. and we bought this house and we, we love this house she picked it out it's gorgeous i mean we it has everything we wanted except there's no pool there's not much of a backyard so we were 
really looking hard at maybe trying to find a pool. Then I put the pencil to it. <laughs> you know, I'm very thrifty. <laughs> and if you get a pool, you got to pay for the pool. You know, that's probably a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Your taxes are going to go up. Your insurance is going to go up. Your electric bill is going to go up. Mm -hmm. You know, and by the, when it's all said and done, we have a free pool a half a mile from here that we can jump in the golf cart, run yeah. over there and swim. Would it be nice at 9 p.m. to be able to go out and take a dip? Sure. Mm -hmm. But I think we're, we've ruled it out for ourselves. Unless the perfect place mm. and the perfect price, that's the thing. If you get, find a house with the perfect price in a pool. But Mike, we can't really answer your question perfectly. <laughs> This is from Janet. Can you park a commercial vehicle in your driveway? Lord, I hope not, Janet. I don't want to be your neighbor. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. There's an 18-wheeler parked next door. <laughs> or even if somebody delivered laundry, you know, in a big, uh, you know, Johnson's <laughs> laundromat <laughs> truck sitting next door. We don't want to see that. Oh. But can you? I don't know. You'd have to call and see, but I don't think you could. Mm. I'm sorry to sound like a snob. Depends on how big that is. I don't know if you have a car with like a thing on the side of it, you know, just like a maid's, whatever. I don't know. Hard to answer that one. Remois. That's a tough question. What are the three things that you love about living in Florida or the villages? Three things you love. Well, we, we love the absence of snow. Yes. We love the easiness of making friends yes. and meeting people. And it's a great jumping off spot for lots of awesome attractions. I'll tell you a few. We've gone on airboat rides. We've gone on float plane rides. We've gone to look at uh, wildlife, you know, in various places, you know, throughout yeah. Florida. We've been to the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, we've taken boat rides, you know. Uh, this is Gator a land. great place yeah. if you want to go on day trips. You know, we're, yes. we're 60 miles from the East Coast, 60 miles from the West Coast. And it's easy to go on cruises down here. You're 60 closer. miles to Disney. Mm -hmm. we, we took the cruise. We went out of Port Canaveral. That was mm -hmm. a one hour and 45 minute right. ride. Boom, easy peasy. So those are three right. things that, that we like about it. Mostly we like the, you know, it's just waking up without a real schedule. You know, you can yeah. do as you please. She has water aerobics on Mondays and Bunko Thursdays. On Mondays and Thursdays, water aerobics at Colony and Seabreeze. Love that. The class is usually full because I keep pumping it up because it's a great class. But uh, also I do bunco. I've done, I golf with the girls. But you go There's when you want so to go and you do. don't go if you don't want to go. You That's the beautiful go, thing about retirement. Yeah. You know, people that retire and then get part-time jobs where they have to be at a certain place at a certain time, man, that just defeats the purpose for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a question. Is there a strict HOA or just a recreation fee? And first off, we don't call it an HOA. Right. We have It's an amenity fee. And that covers going to the rec centers and the upkeep. Uh, goes, give me some help, Jerry. Well, she wanted. She, I think her question is basically who enforces all these things that mm -hmm. an HOA would usually. We're kind of self-policed here. If our neighbor put uh, like a toilet in his front yard and filled <laughs> it with flowers, if I didn't say anything, it could stay there. But if somebody else saw it, yeah. even if they don't live here and said, eh, that's not supposed to be there, and they call the deed compliance office and report that, he'd be issued a letter to get that and mm -hmm. remove it. Yeah. But that's why we moved here. We didn't move here because we thought it would, the restrictions would be too tight. We kind of like it tight. We wanted it to be tight. <laughs> we do. Know. We like the, we like the, it's, I don't know, sterile, but it's, it's, clean. it's clean. It's neat. Everything is in order, and we like that. I, you know, it just makes you feel good. To you know, like I've said good. before, one man's whimsical is another man's tacky. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, there's they a, don't want to have to decide. Yeah. Right. So, anyway, um. No pool. Use the community pool. No need. <laughs> Jerry's reading after house. Okay. No need to clean it uh, if you're retired. Okay, yeah. Use the community pool because then you can don't have to clean your own pool. Right. Okay. This is from Christine. My husband's uncle moved to Florida. He has a boat and loves it. Oh, that's one thing you'd love to have. Yeah, but, Christine. But, yeah, Christine. 
Have him give us a call. Yeah. Thing is, if you have a boat, you have to take care of it and you have to store it. And that, that's, a, that's a job. <laughs> Wondering about HOA fees. We don't have an HOA, but we have amenity fees. And like Linda said, they cover the pool tables at the rec center, the swimming pools, mm -hmm. the bocce courts, the shuffleboard courts, the, the dog ball. parks, pickleball. Yes. All those wonderful things, the outdoor fitness centers, right. um, all that's included. How much do we pay? We pay $183 a month. Mm -hmm. Ours just went up $15. Mm -hmm. Why $15? 9%, uh, what do they call it? Consumer price index mm -hmm. went up 9%, so that's what they raised our yeah. amenity fee. 183 yeah. That's what we pay. We paid close to that back in Indiana. We had a little con uh, it was a condo. Right. There. Um, and we, there were no no pool, no amenities, you know. But we we did get a few things like trash pickup. And yeah. Tr you don't get any services with your amenity fees here. You don't get trash pickup. You don't get water. You don't get sewer. Nothing like that. It's all. It's called the fun fee. The fun fee, and we have a lot of fun here. Uh, here's a good question: How hard was it get, to get used to the heat and humidity? This is from Cindy. Um. I don't know if you get used to it. I guess you just go through it. <laughs> you endure it. You endure uh, it. Until you get to the glorious times, which yes. are coming up. In fact, shortly. this morning was in the 70s, and that was a glorious morning. Gizmo and I enjoyed the morning uh, walking around the block because it was just, it felt wonderful. Fall was coming. It's coming. Lots of mornings are great, and yeah. the evenings are great, but there is a stretch there in July and August yes. when sun up to sundown, it's going to be miserable. But you still have an air conditioner in your car. Maybe you have a fan in your golf cart. And I'll tell you what, you drop that front windshield down. When you drive that golf cart, you're not too hot. You know, it gives you the shade. You have a roof on it. Yeah. And you've got a breeze. So you get where you're going, you're fine. So we still do things every single day. And you keep water with you and uh, always hydrate. Just keep water with you at all times. Even in the car when I go places, I'll have a water. This is not a place in June, July, August... And basically Except. half of September, mm -hmm. where you'll open your windows. Yeah. You won't be opening your windows for a cool breeze because you're not going to get one. No. Uh, this is a question from Streaming the Magic. Uh, when the snowbirds come down, are the wreck areas overwhelmed or there's still enough for everyone? It can be overwhelming. Um, because the popular classes like I go to, uh, you have to stand in line. I don't mind it. I get there early. Uh, I'll sit in my golf cart and uh, look at my phone, my Facebook, my YouTube, whatever. But I'll go a little early to make sure I get to the class. And I know people don't want to do that. But uh, this, <laughs> Jerry does not like to stand in the line at Walmart. <laughs> I don't like standing in line anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to go to Disney. <laughs> so, but... Um, as more areas are opening up right now, down south of 44, the, um, there are more rec centers opening and more classes are opening. So it's, I think the rec centers and the, the aerobics is getting better on the population. I don't, know, I don't know what you said there. Well, new rec centers are opening up, and it's. I think it's getting less crowded in some of the classes. Well, but every one of those new rec centers is surrounded by a whole new neighborhood of homes. Yeah. So they're crowded. I mean, her, mm -hmm. her aerobics class, she stands in line for 45 minutes every time <laughs> she goes. Um, but the golf. Yeah. Golf is okay if you use the registration system right. and you apply ahead of time. Mm -hmm. If you wait till a day, as I say tomorrow, you decide, oh, I want to play golf. It's going to be tough, tough to get in. Summer, it's easy. I like to play golf in the summer. I usually play in the late afternoon. Mm -hmm. But that tee time system really helps, but it does fill up big time when the snowbirds are here. And we love the snowbirds, by the way. We do. We have many, many, many snowbird friends. We, we love it when they come back. We can't wait. Uh, this is from Lori. How is storage above your garage area in regards to the space and the heat? Good question. Mm -hmm. In many garages, not all, but many of them, there's a platform and you'll get a, uh, an opening in your garage, which you can have steps installed that, you know, you pull them down and you go up and there'll be a platform. It's about 12 by 12, I think. Yes. Reinforced that you can store things in, but it gets hot up there. Mm -hmm. She had uh, one of her suitcases. Yeah. One of the wheels kind of disintegrated. Yeah, it melted. <laughs> so. uh, but we do, we store lots of stuff up there. 
I mean, I wouldn't put your candles or anything, no. little, anything like that, waxy or any, your Christmas nothing candles. Nothing really precious. No. I wouldn't put up there, Don't but put it, but but durable things. We still keep them up there. Yeah, I we had some pictures and frames, and we also we brought them down from out of the out of the attic and put under our bed, because uh, we didn't want to take a chance of ruining pictures. So St storage is is a tough tough thing yeah. here. Mm -hmm. You'll be utilizing every nook and cranny. I mean, mm -hmm. you'll be putting things under your bed. You'll be, your closets will be full. Yes. Um, because the garages get hot inside and out. Not just the attic, but the entire garage mm -hmm. gets pretty darn hot. Yes. Here's a question from Mike. How is the entertainment in the villages? Every night you can go to free entertainment from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the town squares. And now they have entertainment at Sawgrass. Mm -hmm. And there's an entertainment at Edmonds on the Green down right. down in uh, the Finney, no, what in the Smarsh Bend area. Yes. Uh, the Finney Grill has entertainment sometimes down in Finney. Uh, Lots of entertainment. It's all free, mm -hmm. and it's they're good entertainers. I mean, yes. I'm telling you. Yes. But they're open to the public. All of those things are open, not just to village residents, but uh, anybody can come yeah. and join in the fun. Yes. And there's also entertainment in some of the restaurants. They have people that will come and sing. Um, and it, the theater, like Sumter, the theater has Lazy a, Max. Lazy Max has uh, groups of people that come in and sing and entertain and even have a comedy clubs there, too. I would say every night you could find somewhere to go for entertainment mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Oh, sure. And there's even some of the country clubs have um, trivia nights. And so you'll have all kinds of entertainment places to go that are free. It's a lot of fun. Right. Um do they actively do they actively remove and relocate gators in the area, or is it only addressed when it becomes serious? It's it's only addressed uh, yeah. after complaints. There was an alligator up near Brownwood, right by the loft apartments before they were built. Yes. Named, yeah. People affectionately called it Larry. Yeah, he was a beast. <laughs> he was a dinosaur. Yeah, and it got scary because people would see him lumbering across the cart path. So they thought, you know what? He hasn't hurt anybody. He hasn't really bothered anybody, but he could. So they took him mm -hmm. to Gatorland. Well, people were stopping to take pictures. And that's a, that's a, that's a you know, problem because they want to take pictures. Then they may start throwing food to it. And you cannot do that. You cannot feed mm -hmm. any of the live animals here because that will cause a problem. So um, they did have to remove Larry, and he is at Gatorland. Mm -hmm. right. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, feeding gators is almost a death sentence for an alligator. Yes. yes. Now, they will wander up during rainstorms especially. They'll travel from pond to pond. And, um, and mating some, season. Sometimes they do remove a gator. If uh, you know if people are, become too afraid and it's of a certain size, they'll call a gator hunter. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't end in a storybook ending like yeah. Larry's did. He, they're yeah. usually... You know, made into belts and shoes after that. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Vince says, good show, and my, no bloopers. We're, we're trying really hard, <laughs> Vince, not to make any bloopers. I haven't sneezed yet, right? <laughs> okay. Um, this is from Brian. Is there a reason you didn't YouTube live? Well... We are enjoying this live feed. We are... We do our best, and we work really hard, but we're not experts at this. <laughs> no. So we were kind of uh, drafted into this <laughs> well, we by were asked, Ian we were of, of Streaming the Magic, way. and we said we would do it. And now that we know how to do it, I think we could do this on YouTube also. Maybe we will, because I'm going to tell you, yeah. Mondays and Thursdays come around fast. Yes. Yes. And sometimes, uh, you know, we're ready and we're prepared, but sometimes it's like the day before and we're like, whoa, we got to get going. Yeah. So if we have this to fall back on, someday we may, re you know, just have a, a live show in, yeah. instead of a Thursday show or yeah. maybe even a Mailbag Monday and just do it live. Yeah. Because honestly, no kidding, I probably put 15 hours into every Mailbag Monday. He and, does. And that's, that's pretty grueling. But I love it. So it's not really work for me. I enjoy it. I really enjoy doing it and seeing the comments and the pictures and everything you guys send. But Facebook Live, YouTube Live might be a new awakening for me. It is. It's, they're scrolling through here questions fast and it's hard to answer. Now, when you email us questions, we try to get to every single one and answer all of you. So, uh, But this is a little bit tricky. Uh, Jody asked a good question here, though. Do you feel safe walking at night? And I'm glad you asked that. Because one, 
Yes, I feel very safe. I love our neighborhood. I'll come out at night, take Gizmo for a little walk, just in our driveway in, in the front yard. And I don't go around the street at night, but there are neighbors that do. I see them at 10 or 11 at night walking around with their flashlights and with their little reflecting uh, vests on. And um, they feel safe enough to do it. So, but this morning, we found that we had a little animal in our front yard this morning at 5.15. Yeah, we had a bear in our driveway two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we caught him on a camera. Yeah. But this morning, she saw a creature on our little security camera. Mm -hmm. And by golly, it looked like an anteater to me. We're well, not sure what it was. I, I, I looked at it and froze it and blew it up. And I don't know. It's uh, some kind of... It looked like a cross between a raccoon and an anteater. Yeah. I know. We're gonna... <laughs> or a possum. It's kind of like the three of them. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to try to figure that out. Okay. But as far as feeling safe, that reminded me of a story. Four years ago, before we moved here, we took a trip to Miami just for a weekend. Yes. We have a son that's a pilot, and once in a while we get to enjoy his his uh, perks, you know. And so we took a trip. In fact, that day when we went to the airport, we were going to go somewhere else. But that flight was looking full, so we said, where else is a flight going somewhere? And there was one going to Miami, so we jumped on it. And we were walking on uh, the street in Miami late at night, and I asked her, do you, oh. <laughs> do you feel safe? And what did you say? Not as much as I used to. But you know why? Because I know he, he can't run as fast. <laughs> and or else I don't know why. I said that. He has not Well, you should feel safe. You know, you've heard the old bear joke. If you're with somebody in a bear attack, yeah. you just have to outrun the other guy, right? Right, right. So you're pretty fast. Yeah, I'm faster than you, so I guess I am pretty safe. <laughs> there, as long as there are human beings anywhere, there's mm -hmm. a possibility. So yeah. I encourage her, and she doesn't do it often. I bought her a can of. Ma spray, spray bear, mace. what's it called? Mace. Mace, yeah. <laughs> and, and I told her, you know, or carry a, a stick with you. You know, and you never know. You may see a coyote or a bobcat. Although I'm really, I don't. I think the chances of that, I think the chances of being attacked by a two legger is a lot greater than a four legger. Maybe so. But there could be a, a dog loose or something like that. So mm -hmm. uh, we're we're as safe as anywhere you're going to find. All right. This is from Janet. So would a HVAC van fit in your garage? not yet ready to retire and wondering where to park. I don't know. It's a typical garage door. What's that, about seven feet tall? Mm -hmm. If it'll go in a seven-footer, you could park it in your garage yeah. for sure. I thought you were going to ask, could you put air conditioner in your garage? And some people do put those mini splits in there. If they're going to work in their garage, maybe they have a hobby that they do outside. You can put a, a little air conditioner in your garage, or they have a portable unit. You can vent right out the window. Mm -hmm. Good. Here's a question. How is the turnpike noise? The Florida turnpike. Well, for, for us, it's non-existent. Right. We are north of, of State Road 44, and we don't hear anything. On a cloudy day when the clouds are bouncing that sound, we can hear a truck on 44, which right. is probably two miles, two and a half miles away. Right. Mm -hmm. Very low. But the people that live down in Deluna and Hawkins, you know, some of them, if they face the highway, they're going to hear that noise every single day doesn't bother some people. We stayed in New York City. Tell them about that. I was reading a question. What do you mean? <laughs> there you go, Fred. This is how we make our bloopers. This is how we do it right here. I was reading a question from Lori. Okay. We, we stayed in New York City. Yeah. Uh, we have some great stories from that. Uh, like Someday we'll tell you about the time uh, we got embarrassed at the Rachel Ray show. But we were in New York City... On the twenty-something floor of a apartment building, oh my God, it's noisy. It is noisy. Horns honking, sirens, just all, all kinds of noises. Windows are open. We didn't have air conditioning where we were staying, and oh. oh if you're from long. New York City, that turnpike isn't gonna bother you. <laughs> you say that? Yeah, no, maybe the New York people should live on near the turnpike, <laughs> so they're used to the noise. They probably block that out. They don't realize it got, it's going now. Denise, this is Gizmo. Yeah. Gizmo is very popular in the villages. Mm -hmm. He's a good dog. Dog. In fact, he's. I'll tell you all a little bit about Gizmo. We we got him when he was about six weeks old. Mm -hmm. We picked him. We got first pick of a litter. And he came right over and was loving on us. And we said, we'll take this one. <laughs> and he is now 13 and a half years old. 
Mm-hmm. He's still in fabulous shape. I mean, he oh, still yeah. gets around so good, mm-hmm. but he's not jumping like he used to. He he likes to jump up on the couch or down from the couch, and he's not. Sometimes he wants a little help with that. Yeah, he's but getting a little slower. When jumps. we do our shows. He will come here and stand by this chair when we start setting up lights. Yeah. He wants to be here. Some people are saying that's cruel to make him sit up there. <laughs> are we making you sit here? You know, no. he could probably sit here for a couple more hours. Yeah, as long as we sit here, he will sit here. <laughs> if we sat here all day, he would stay here he all day. He wants to be with us, yeah. right beside us, uh, Low wherever maintenance. we are. Wherever Greatest we are. dog ever. Yeah. And uh, some, Phyllis wants us to do a live uh, in the evening next time so she can participate. Um, Christine says it helps her work day go by. <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs> Let's see. All right. <laughs> Which dis- uh, this is from Streaming the Magic. Which Disney World character best reminds you of Jerry? Oh my. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Goofy. Yeah, I was going to. I thought, no, you're not Goofy. I'm the Goofy. Well, she reminds no. me of the princess. Aww. Mm-hmm. I'm Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh, don't I know it. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, oh, I don't know what happens when they turn blue. Yeah, we're rookies. We'll get the hang of this. And every time we do it, it'll probably become easier. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll thank Ian for getting us started on this and... Yeah. I think we're winding down here. Yeah, we, we got, got about, about five, five minutes five left. Minutes. So if you have a final question you want to get in, go ahead and shoot it to us. Uh, Virginia says we're having a problem with centipedes in and outside of our home. Have you had a problem with the same? Not with the centipedes. No, you need a you need a gizmo. <laughs> you know he'll take care of those and the little lizards too. We had a couple of geckos this week getting our lanai, and uh, it, I mean they were tiny. They were itsy 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 bitty, and uh, we got one out, or one was dead, and then the next day there was another one, and we thought it was dead, but we're not sure because now it's gone. It's not where it was, so we don't not sure if gizmo has. <laughs> And there's one out there without a tail. We think we know where that tail went, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Janet wants to know, does my twin sister ever visit? Uh, we would love to see you both together. Well, she's visited here two times, and we're waiting for her to come back. And my older sister, too, and my whole family. I wish they'd come down more often, but we'll get them here, I hope. They were identical twins, Linda and her sister. Yeah. And uh, both very pretty girls. Aww. Yeah, very <laughs> beautiful girls. And uh, she still lives in our hometown, mm-hmm. where we're, where we're mm-hmm. from. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we, we've got a room for her anytime she wants to come. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, By the way, I want to say regarding those bugs, we have a service that comes here once a month. And they will come on demand also. If Linda, once in a great while, mm-hmm. she'll see what she calls ghost ants. Yes, they're teeny Those tiny. bitty bitty ants. Teeny and tiny. And they will come and oh. uh, they'll put a little, uh, you know, poison yeah. somewhere and, it and it takes Tora. care of them. Tora, Tora. But, but that's why we don't have a lot of bugs. We, yeah. we have a service that, yeah. that treats the perimeter of our house. No problem. Yeah. Gizmo's a star. All right. We're about ready. Yeah. All right, one more, one, one more commercial. More. Please, if you haven't, follow us on Facebook. That helps. Like I said, we just reached 10,000 yesterday, and we're very proud and happy about that. And on YouTube, we're just Jerry and Linda, the village's newcomers. Go to YouTube and just punch in Jerry and Linda and subscribe, and uh, you'll be able to catch all of our shows. We put one out every Monday called Mailbag Monday where we take... Well, we do. It started off just to be letters, but now we we tell you a little wrap up of what we've done for the week. We recognize a viewer of the week every week, and we take uh, we show pictures that people we, submit. We meet people all the time, and we're always having pictures with them, and we share that too. And we enjoy meeting the people. That's the fun part of this this uh, Mailbag Monday in our shows, our YouTube shows. And on Mailbag Monday, Gizmo has a segment every week (laughs) where he either tells jokes or tells a story, and he does a great job. He won't talk 
Hardly at all, except on Monday. So we, we try to we try to keep it on that one day. Keep them quiet. Rest yeah. the week, right? Well, we are so glad that uh, we've been able to share this with you and streaming the magic. We've had a good time. We've learned something new. We've learned how to do this. So yeah. we're, we're going to do it some more in the future. Oh, there's but, some people joining us now. You missed us. You'll have to. <laughs> thanks to every one of you that tuned in today. And I hope that uh, we got to your question. I think we had more questions than, than time. Yes. Uh, but we, we really enjoyed it. Until next time. <laughs> See you when you get here.